Hey there, Angie M. I know, welcome to the mess behind me. I don't even care anymore at this point. I honestly cannot keep up with keeping that space. Not gonna worry about it right <laughs> now. Oh man, I did finally get my Roleno soft light. This guy is adjustable from Amazon. I am so excited. This is the soft light PLV S192 from Shenzhen Aitman Innovations Technology. It's got a one year limited warranty. But I have heard good things from other YouTubers. My soft light does work. I like this because I can use it to replace my spotlight and it is more customizable. And my current soft box, as I open this up, I'm gonna unplug <laughs> before I start goofing with it. I love my big soft, soft box, but I gotta get a replacement part for it because the cheap plastic that in here that holds came off so now the screw is sitting against metal which probably isn't the worst thing but we're gonna swap out which one i am currently using so i'm just going to unplug this and unscrew it and pull it out of the base so this is a mount dog it is a very good light i i'm actually i'm very happy with it i have to take the light out of it and break it down and i'm gonna put it back in its case <clears throat> I'll get this is the stand it came with I'll get a stand for it at some point separately but I do need a stand for this particular soft light here in my basement I also want to use it as a soft, as a light when I film beauty stuff which I film in my bathroom because I could not take all of that stuff being in my basement anymore so you get the instructions when you open up the box this is what she looks like. It's just getting a notification there. And she is rechargeable, so you don't have to use it plugged in. Whereas my other soft box, you do need to have it plugged in. Did I say reusable or rechargeable? It's rechargeable. The batteries are rechargeable on this. I'm not gonna crack open the user manual yet. I just wanna get the plug unwound. I love that it comes with a power supply. You do have to watch with the things you order from Amazon. My first spotlight that I had, which was really, really great for beauty stuff because just that spotlight when I was filming would give the extra oomph to anything glittery or sparkly, did not come with one of these guys. It just took the batteries. All right, and we got a little, little mount piece. Ooh. I bet I'm gonna have to take this on and off. I did not, I might not have realized that. That is okay, I can take this on and off, but I also got a camera mount for my, sorry about that, had an interruption from an alarm. It's Tuesday, why did I have an alarm going? I don't know. So I'm just gonna screw this in here. I love that it's an articulating I know, I realize you guys can't see this, so let me just adjust. I'm trying to be careful. The plastic parts for a lot of things seem quite fragile, unfortunately. So there is that new mount. Turn this guy a little bit more. So this would be used to secure it to a camera mount. And I noticed that when I tightened it, I couldn't, I loosened it completely so that I can securely mount it on the stand. And maybe what I will do when I go upstairs is I will just bring this. I don't know, maybe I don't need the camera mount. Do not over tighten things. I have learned that the hard way. You over tighten, stuff stops working. Plastic breaks, and that is a sad problem. This was packaged really, really well. Considering my post office lost it, I'm not really expecting it to work because I don't know why they lost it. I don't know why it was misshipped repeatedly. It's just one of those things. So we're going to have a display here on the back so that we can adjust the warmth and the coolness. And then I like, I like this stop because once it's in here, it will it will lock into the stopper. All right, so I'm gonna turn it so you're gonna see the back. 
and I'm gonna lock it at the stopper and then you can use this little slide here to hook that in. I really like this. This is much more secure and sophisticated than I expected. I'm, I'm really not mad about that. Again, do not over tighten, just hand tighten everything. You start over tightening, you're gonna start having problems. Now, I'm going to move this down so you can see the back, so we can all see the back of the display here. That is such a good size. I'm really interested to see if this is gonna cast off way more light or a little bit more light, there's the plug, than my other soft box. Might be hard to tell in here, it's kind of bright right now. So, all right. Plug it in, let's get it going. All right, plugged it in. Do we have display in the back? Did, did, did anything turn on? I believe there's an on off switch, so bear with me. Oh, yep, the display is going. So it's showing me now that it is charging. Again, I'm really excited for this. This is a little bit more expensive than the first light that I had. When I purchased this though, I was not only a happy gift to myself, I was looking at a much more expensive set that had two of these. Ideally, I would like to get more. They do seem to do a little bit better than the giant soft box that I have. I am gonna keep the box for it because if I do travel with it, this, is better than most packing cases. I should probably actually show you what it looked like. So when I opened it up on the inside, this is what all of the packing looks like. So it was very nicely, very securely in there. And we're just going to keep this because I do like filming and I might want to travel with this stuff. And I would prefer it not get broken while doing that. Drop that behind me. All right, so you can use this plugged in or fully charged. So the on off switch, I'm gonna blind myself here, is right here. So I turned it on. Okay, it's really light, it's warming up. It's not really, not really hitting me. I think Jessica Braun, uh, formerly JM Beauty, has a video. I think she might have used these or something similar where she talks about the settings that she would keep hers at for filming. I know some YouTubers really like warm settings, some like cooler settings. Pull that down since I moved forward a little bit. So on off, brightness and CCT, all right. So I am turning the bright, wow, the CCT is really warm. So, you know, depending on where you are, can you see the warmth of that? That is some warm light, wow. That is also bright. I like that it, so let's, let's show you guys. So as opposed to my other, as opposed to my true spotlight, this really is soft box feel. You don't see the individual lights, whereas with what I had before, you could see the individual lights. All right, so that is brightness 100%, 32K on the CCT. I'm gonna to wanna to call it saturation and that's the wrong term. So I am literally, now that is 56K and that is very cool tone light. You can see a little bit of the difference. You can see it reflecting in my glasses. I actually like, it's not as bad on my glasses as the other soft box was though. So I, I might enjoy this as well for filming. Now, in theory, I could actually put this, if I, tr if I trusted the mount that my camera slash phone is currently on, let me see if I can tighten this a little bit more. If I fully trusted this thing, don't. Like it will not, the ball part will not lock in. It is so annoying. I know I'm blocking you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying to lock in. As I said, if I trusted this thing, I'm trying to tighten a piece here. Yeah. See, now it won't lock in at all. I don't understand why I have the problems I have with my my mount.
So I'm gonna block you again for a second. You know what, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna try to fix this and then I will come back to this point. All right, so I've tightened it some. I honestly do not trust it to hold the weight of this thing. But I wanna try it because I think when I'm filming, if I can put it above my camera, that might be a good thing. So I'm just gonna loosen. Plug. All right, turn off for now. Okay, see, and the problem is I don't have anything to screw it into. There's no screw. Okay, so it's gonna have to stay where it is. I can't, I was just trying to think if I had another attachment I could use. I could probably try my camera arm, but I really, really don't want to risk anything. I have a small tripod I could put this bad boy on. But I don't, I don't trust the small tripod either. Just going to shrink it down a little bit here. Just a moment. I'm doing a little bit of doing a little bit of playing with the stand to make the stand smaller. I want to see how this works set up on my desk. This this stand, while really inexpensive feeling. It does such a bang up job. So I'm going to shrink up the base. As much as I can. So the base, bear with me, this is in my basement. So the base looks like this. And I don't, so it's gotta have a minimum. Okay, be able to use it on my desk. It's gonna have to have a minimum height. I'm just going to lock get that <laughs> falling screws. And I'm just, let me, let me turn you a little bit. I'm trying to, as I realize as I turn you, like, do I have anything face up? I don't want you guys looking at. Not really. There's just some planner stuff over here. Is what it is. Okay. So you can see what I'm doing. I am um, Just going to tighten this and then I should be careful with it but this so this is the height I get that's as good as it gets but but we have this little I'll turn it a little bit more we've got this guy right here which allows for tilt so if I tilt it, I can tilt it down, like if I'm on a collar or something, and then I can turn it on. And then if I turn it again, I'm just gonna set it back a touch. Ooh, then, then we get some nice, some nice lighting going on down below. So we pull this back down, let's, let's just see. So you get some nice above cool tone lighting. If you're like me and you wear glasses and the frustration is, is that stuff gets in your eyes. You know, like if I'm looking up, you can see it, but if I'm filming and I'm just holding my head, it doesn't hit as much as my other softbox would. So that is a thing. I'm actually, I'm quite impressed. I quite like that. It is extremely bright. I'm gonna have to play with the settings. My assumption is going to be that I'm going to have favorite settings and there are going to be some settings that work better during the day, some settings that work better at night. But I do like that I can control the warmth. Controlling the warmth is a huge issue for me because sometimes the light is too cool tone in my space because of the light strip that I have overhead, which I do keep cooler because it's an office space and warm tone lighting sometimes makes me wanna go none night. We also do have lucky card and user manual if we need them. Who needs that junk, right? We'll just watch YouTube video. No, I kid, I kid. I'm actually gonna read that one when I get done here. But uh, 
yeah, no, so it's gonna be really, really interesting to play with this and just get a feel for, for the lighting and where I want the lighting to be. And I could probably even shift this a little and still get some, you're, you're also seeing my window reflected and still get lighting where I need it without it being full on base. I'm excited about that. I actually really like that. So we're gonna play with it. We're gonna go from there. I'll catch y'all in the next one. It's always good times. Welcome to the wide world of filming. I also toyed with the idea of not filming, but quite frankly, what else am I gonna do? Like, I don't have any hobbies. I, I've hit a point where I think my content needs to evolve. I can't constantly do purchase stuff. I can't constantly be purchasing stuff. Look, there, there are many fabulous YouTubers out there who have the income to purchase all the new bells and whistles and thrills and show you all kinds of updated stuff. There are content creators out there who are either affiliates or they get free product and are showing you that free product as well. I am at a point where I just, I have an abundance of stuff and I can't keep purchasing. At the same time, I wanna bring you quality content and my heart wants to get back more towards the original type of content that I wanted to be, to be giving you, which is quality-based content and not necessarily, you know, stuff based. I'm just looking at my my planner there. We're gonna be talking a little bit about what is happening in my planner system and sort of the evolution that I think I am hitting on because I can't choose a size to save my life. I it the biggest pitfall you can fall into within the planning community and within planning in and of itself is getting really overwhelmed with all of the different sizes and all of the different decorations and all of the different tools you can possibly have and thinking you need to try all of them. Don't do that, just, just don't do that. You probably already know what size or what style of planner you like and want to be in and wanting to try new stuff just leads you to procure new stuff that you're probably not gonna use because if you are really, really comfortable and in love with something, you're probably gonna go back to it and it's gonna feel wrong until you do and then you're gonna feel guilty when you do because you have all of this other stuff you feel like you should be using. I'm just gonna pull you all a little lower here. All this other stuff you feel like you should be using and you're not using and it's just gonna create, it's gonna create this resistance in your head. It's gonna make planning harder and I like all the sizes. I've tried a lot of the sizes and I don't know. My heart keeps wanting to go to one size in particular, but every time I go to use it, I end up just jumping to something else. So I think what it is, is I'm feeling that guilt of not using something that I thought I would love, but realizing that I don't really love it. I'm just feeling guilty. And because I'm feeling guilty, I want to show it love. Which sounds weird, but if you if you think about it, I mean, it, it's sort of akin. It, it's like being in a bad planner relationship, right? You know it's bad for you. You know you're really not digging it, but you feel guilty, so you want to use it anyway. And I just, I want to avoid that. And I'm aware my hair looks weird. My The clips that actually hold my hair and don't let my hair slide out are starting to hurt the top of my head. So I just have a, I don't like my bangs in my face. And I'm just going to segue from the really heavy topic to a really light, floofy topic. Like, can we just look at the awkward mulletness of my hair? I am at that weird growth stage where it just needs to either get longer or I just need to hack it all off. Have it hacked all off. So that's kind of where I am right now. But I will catch y'all in some more stuff <laughs> really soon. I, again... I toy with the idea of not filming and I'm like, is this really bringing purpose to my life and purpose maybe, but at some point I would like to see this segue into something that is some sort of a money making avenue. If, if my filming and producing things could actually pay for what I'm trying to do, then I wouldn't feel as much like I have to pull back. I really have to weigh what it is I'm doing. And at the same time, I feel like I'm not bringing you guys the kind of content you want to see. And when I go through my numbers, what I'm seeing is the kind of content that seems to do really well in terms of getting views and likes. 
are the haul videos, are the purchase videos, are the kit videos. And I'm just like, no, like, like I can't, I can't have every video I do be me purchasing stuff because I don't get stuff for free. That's literally me purchasing stuff. And I'm burning out on kits, even kits that I really, really like. Like I burned out on the cloth and paper kits because I just felt like I had an abundance of stuff sitting while I was also bringing other new stuff in. And I don't like to live the life where stuff is just sitting and piling up. I'm also lazy and I don't want to do all the work of de-stashing. Like I have stuff from Villa Beautiful that I want to de-stash and I want it to find homes that it loves, but I'm lazy and that's a lot of work. So I, I just, I look around and some things need to change. Some content needs to change. I do still intend to purchase the gimbal because my content is going to be changing. I'm going to be trying to filter in some more things that really speak to me and my creativity as opposed to just pegging myself and well this is what I'm doing right now so this is what I'm gonna film <laughs> and really kind of liven myself up a little bit so if you see changes in the channel I'm not changing because someone has said I need to do something differently I am changing because I am an evolving person who has many different likes and desires and I want to see some different things coming out of my content I want to bring you some different things. I also want to bring you some heavier things and some more emotional things as I was trying to do in the beginning. I'm trying to figure out how to weave that into the content in a way that makes sense. I also want to make sure it stays positive because things have a tendency when we talk about the heavier stuff to get very negative very fast. And I don't want to do that either because that's going to wear me out and it's going to wear on me and it's going to wear you guys out. So I don't know. If, if there is content that you see on here that you like, let me, let me know. Let me know. Drop it in the comments and I'm going to bring you some more. So I'll catch y'all in the next one.